Your entrance into Misty Fjords National Monument starts at Point Alva, which is, you know, by boat about half an hour to 45 minutes south of Ketchikan, depending on what speed you're traveling. You enter the National Monument there at Point Alva, and then often you will travel on the, on the western side of Beam Canal, head through Narrow Pass and Rudyard Island that has some beautiful marble formations and then up through Short Pass. A lot of times you will stay over there on that western side or you may cut across Beam Canal, head over to Winstanley Island. And Winstanley Island is separated from the mainland of North America just by a very narrow waterway called Shoalwater Pass. And Shoalwater Pass by even small boats is usually not passable at, at low tide. But if the tide's right, you can go through this beautiful waterway. After that, there's uh, New Eddystone Rock. New Eddystone Rock is probably the most photographed piece of geology within the National Monument. It's a spire of basalt that rises right up out of the sea, over 200 feet. That's a spectacular and interesting piece of geology. After visiting uh, New Eddystone Rock, most visitors uh, then proceed on over to Rudyard Bay. And Rudyard Bay is, is going to be the highlight of any trip to Misty Fjords. There are granite cliffs that rise 3,000 feet right out of the sea. It's a very classic, narrow, steep-sided fjord. There's active bird rookery in there. In the summertime, uh, seals will come out, haul out there, have their pups. And it's this winding, narrow, beautiful waterway. It takes you all the way up to the back to an area called God's Pocket. Uh, God's Pocket is this just this amazing place. You go through this narrow waterway that opens up, and you have these towering cliffs with, a, with an open waterfall, a big estuary in the back that you might see brown bears in, and that, that waterfall that you see right as you come in is airborne with another waterfall off to the side that has beautiful rock called Nice. The Nice is the name of rock. It's a metamorphic rock. It has beautiful swirls in it. Yeah, it's, it's incredible. Redyard Bay is usually the highlight of the tour. So you have this fantastic moment, and then um, a lot of times the trip back tends to be uh, a little more relaxed. People enjoy company, share photos, um, have a relaxing trip back into Ketchikan. That's often how most of these trips go.